Let's demonstrate a wave plate with our polarization lamp. So remember this has a nice illuminated front surface, but it has two cross polarizers in front of it. One with a uh, transmission axis one way, one the other way. Here's something very interesting. This is uh, cling wrap or saran wrap or food wrap or plastic wrap or whatever you call that plastic stuff you have in your kitchen to keep food fresh. So if you take a little bit of this and sort of just sort of bundle, bundle it up a little bit and stick it in here, then you see these interesting colors show up. Bundle it a little differently like that. There you go. So you see some interesting effects, some colors show up and you see different domains where the thing has been cut and different layers. So there's quite a bit of interesting wave plate like effects going on in here. So if we can understand that, I think we understand birefringence and wave plates quite well. This is a complicated mess. Let me take this out and I made you something a little bit more controlled. I put individual layers of plastic wrap onto a glass slide. So first let's establish one thing. Glass is highly isotropic. So there is no birefringence in glass. Here's a glass slide and as I turn it around, it doesn't let any of the light through. You get a little bit at the edges, but that's light reflecting off the edges of the glass. So you can see the glass isn't gonna do much. So glass is a good substrate to put in plastic wrap. So now I have a single layer of plastic wrap on this slide. And if we put it in, you can see it lets the light through, kind of a light blue color. If I turn it, no more light gets through. If I turn it this way, no more light gets through. It's acting just like a wave plate. Because it turns out the direction for the SA and the FA of plastic wrap is, has related to the way they make it. So it actually does go along the rolls. So here I cut it in a way that it really is right along that axis. Okay, it's just a single layer of plastic wrap. So you can see that part seems to be true. And here is two layers of plastic wrap and they sort of overlap in the middle. So there you can see kind of the grayish bluish of a single layer and there's two layers, kind of a golden yellow, right? And then here, this will show you three layers of plastic wrap. See, it goes from the kind of this color, the grayish, and then kind of the gold yellow, and then kind of a red, kind of a brown, right? There's three layers. What does four layers look like? Uh, oh, okay, now kind of a very bright blue part shows up in the middle. So you can see it definitely is due to the different numbers of layers of plastic wrap. And it is a birefringence effect. You can see as I turn it there, it definitely changes. Let's see if it makes any sense mathematically to further convince you. Because this comes out around unity for sort of visible wavelengths is why we get these colors. And I'll even prove that to you. So here are some plots assuming an anisotropy of 0.04 and a thickness of 10 to the minus five and I do them for all the wavelengths um, in the visible. Here is for cross polarizers and for having your stuff at about 45 degrees, your plastic wrap at 45 degrees, this is the spectrum you would get. This is the, uh, the irradiance that would come through, basically the trans transmission. And you can see through the visible, it's pretty much half the light gets through here and almost all the light gets through here at the red. So that's why one layer is kind of gray. Okay. Two layers, then you actually get a minimum down here in the red and you get a lot in the blue. So two layers becomes more colorful than one layer. And that's what we saw. Three layers, you get another peak here in the visible and a dip in the visible, more colors, but a different color. Four layers, more colorful. And you can see what's happening is the more layers you add, there's five layers, um, uh, the larger D is, you're increasing D, therefore you're increasing the frequency in the sinusoid. Right? That's why this looks like a cosine or a sinusoid that's getting higher frequency and it's mixing in more and more colors. If you put a huge number of layers, the effect would eventually be washed out and it would be gray again. If you put a very thin layer, the effect is washed out and it's gray again. You only get the colors when your phase ends up sort of around a single phase. And for plastic wrap, it just happens to occur when you have a few layers of 10 micron thick plastic wrap at visible wavelengths with an anisotropy of around 0.04. It just happens to happily work out that way. You're still not convinced? All right, how about if we measure it? All right, here, cross polarizers, and here's an optical fiber going to a spectrometer that'll let's take the spectrum of the light going through the uh, stuff, the plastic wrap. 
and we'll see if it looks like what I calculated. So here is our five layer plastic wrap sandwich on glass. And now I'm going to put this up to the first, the gray, one layer. And you can see not much variation over the visible wavelengths that you're seeing there. So then I'll come up to two layers right here. And you can see it's different. Not a lot of structure in the visible, but it's definitely a different curve. Right? Then I'll go to three layers. And curve changes again. That's why it's a different color. And go to four layers. Oh, the curve changed quite a bit. And now you can start to see the, kind of the sinusoidal character of the curve. And five layers and more kind of sinusoidal look to the curve. So you'll notice in my calculation, it got very, uh, quite a few oscillations in the visible. And here, it's going a lot slower. The reason is probably I overestimated the anisotropy. When I said the difference between the in um, vertical and in horizontal is 0.04, it's probably too big. It's probably more like 0.02 or 0.01. But one way we can kind of deal with that is if I stack all the plates, now we have layers as much as 13. And if I stick it in between the two, there's all of our pretty colors. And now let's hit a few of these and see if we get more of a sinusoidal character, more higher frequency inside the spectrum. And sure enough, there you can see when I hit different layers, it jumps around now with multiple peaks inside the transmittance curve. So that's why you see colors when you have cling wrap, or I'm sorry, plastic wrap between cross polarizers.